everybody and welcome to another exciting installment of Five Questions with the Wrestling Rampage. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's that's right, we are back. Yeah. <laughs> Scooter's right here with us. Hey, We're yeah. back with this edition of Five Questions with the Wrestling Rampage. Won't be a native, but it'll be alright. And we are here to answer your guys' questions that you guys sent in. You guys have been sending in questions like crazy, guys. I'm trying to keep up. Um, also, we want to run by a little um, uh, a little idea. Uh-huh. Uh, thinking about maybe going live maybe every few weeks or maybe every month uh, with a live yeah. um, whatever. Whether it's a live Q&A. Rather, it's a live of uh, whatever you guys would write in uh, in the live to talk about. Yeah. Um, or whatever. Uh, we're just thinking about maybe doing a, a few lives every every once in a while. If you guys would be interested in that, uh, please let us know in the comment section down below. Now, yep. Going live means there is no, we can't redo anything. Yeah. So if we fuck up, we just fuck up. That's right. Live is live, pal. Yep. It's, it's, it's right there where it is. We fuck up, we we move on, and that's it. You'll see it all. But and and the cool thing is, like, you know, we will do Q&As on there. Yep. Uh, we will talk about whatever you guys want to talk about at, at that particular time. Um, you know, the live might be an hour long or so. Uh, don't want to be too long. Don't want to yeah. be too short. Yeah. Uh, uh, and, you know... We're there reading your guys' comments and talking about whatever you guys want to talk about uh, during that live. So if you guys are interested in that, please sure. let us know in so, the comment uh, section down yes, below. Uh, be sure you let us know because uh, we're going to do it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and go with the first question asked by a good friend of the channel. And uh, the link for his channel will be in the description box below. Dan the Beast 94 d d d d d d uh, Day in the Beast 94's question is, thoughts on X-Factor could have been x Pox's breakout moment as a leader of his own faction. Well, X-Factor was in 2001. Yep. Uh, they had a good theme, Uncle Cracker. <laughs> what you're looking at, what Yeah, the that was a good thing. Besides just putting that fact, they put X-Factor over it. <laughs> You'll be there with that fact. No, it's X-Factor. Yeah, X-Factor. Uh, good theme song. Yeah. Uh, if, if you guys don't know X Factor, you know the leaders, X Pac. And Just Incredible and Albert. Just Incredible and Albert. And, uh, uh, this was, uh, pretty much right before, um, the invasion yeah. angle that they did in 2001. Um, which you'll see Just Incredible leave and go to yeah. the, go to, go to the Alliance. But, uh, I mean, let's just be honest though. Did did X Factor have any big um, star power behind him? Well, not even star power, but the, 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 any, the, he didn't have no power behind him, in my opinion. Any any big feuds or any big matches? No, not really. They were mainly on heat and metal. Yes, they were. Or and, they, Tom, and Tommy does because he uh, watched yeah. that. Or, or if, uh, if uh, or if they were on Raw and SmackDown, they were in losing effort. It, losing. My effort. opinion is to me. They were just like what they do now, just throw together matches, and that's it. Here you go, there you go. You're going to be facing these guys. You're going to be facing that guy. It's just, a, it was all just a bunch of bullshit, in my opinion. So, did you like X Factor? I thought it sucked. Thought it sucked. I thought it sucked. Did you think uh, because it, because of me, X Pac to me was not a leader. He was more of a follower. I mean, look, look, look how look how much he followed Triple H. Oh, damn. Still does, huh? It still does. With his dog. <laughs> With his dog. <laughs> Uh, Tommy, x Pac. Well, I'm going to be honest, I know, uh, like, x Pac does have talent. I ain't going to knock him for that. He is talented. But, and, and Jester Kerbley, he, he was, he's good too. And Albert, he was good. You know, for a big guy, he's decent. Yeah. The hip-hop hip hop. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst. What about Sweet Tea? Uh, that's up there. <laughs> that's up there. It was probably the <coughs> worst portrayals of fucking Albert I've ever seen. Yeah. And people say, "Well, Lord Ten's eyes suck." Well, at least, at least, at least they was something. Yeah. At least they ain't acting like a fucking goof. Which later on, at Sweet Tea, he does. Yeah, Sweet Tea does, of course, with Brodus Clay. Um, but I enjoy, like, I did, like, they were okay. They were just a 
lower card group at the time, mm -hmm. middle of lower card. Yeah. You know, like, but, but X Pac seeing him as leader, nah. Same. Uh, with X Pac, I, I just always seen him as a mid, middle, yeah. middle card guy. Like. like my heavyweight cruiserweight champion, which that's where he was. Which, which is where he was. That's where I seen him as. A uh, tag team, possibly. Yeah, tag team. But uh, world champion status, main no. eventer, no. No, yeah. not at all. Uh, and I mean, I've always liked Just Incredible. Oh, yeah. I uh, always have really enjoyed his ECW stuff. Albert, good for a big guy. Yeah. Uh, does great things for NXT right yes. now, uh, being a trainer there. Um, I'm a good guy to learn from. Good guy to learn from. But, uh, yeah. They just don't want him to lose like he has. Oh, hey, he was a big star in Japan. He was, he was, he was a big star in Japan. Japan is American now. <laughs> that's right, yeah, that's true. Uh, thoughts on X Factor? Once again, lower card yeah. group. Didn't really uh, get any good uh, uh, steam behind them, nor could they really get any yeah. steam the way Pops is, yeah. Pops is talking it's about. A, it's like it's right here, you know. Don't give a goddamn what you say. Go to the United States now. Fuck it. <laughs> Let's go with the next question asked by Cody Zimmerman. Better Universal Champion. We got two options here. Uh-huh. And, oh and, 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 and I'm going to read it the way he wrote it. Okay. Okay. On this side, we got Goldberg. Uh-huh. You know, everybody knows Life Alert Goldberg. Oh, yeah. Goldberg. Goldberg with the Life Alert. Yeah. Greatest oh, match oh. on the card was Undertaker. <laughs> Well, at least he showed up. For, at least he show, showed up for the, for the show. With his, show, showed up to, to do in, in, interviews, not like Lesnar. So, so oh, well, there you go. It's Brock, Little House on the Prairie, Lesnar. God damn. Brock, Little House on the Prairie, Lesnar. Yeah, yeah, I know that motherfucker. Twenty-five cent Lesnar. Dude. So, uh, uh, which one are you going with? Uh, that's the better Universal. Well, I'll be honest. They both suck. Yeah. Now, have you noticed that Universal title has always been shitty? Yeah. It, like when Finn Balor got it, he, he got injured. When Seth Rollins got it, he got injured. Have you noticed when a good, when when probably a good champion gets the motherfucker, he gets injured? Got, when a part-timer, when, when it's a shitty goddamn champion, he lasts forever? I got something to say about that because that title is cursed. It probably is. So that's why Braun Strowman's a bitch now. You know? Yeah. Uh -huh. I like you, Braun, but you Universal title is trash. They, they, they but, build you up. Well, I, not they just yeah, that. He's just, he, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. I'm sorry. Universal Championship yeah, is probably the stupidest belt yeah, but, but, I've ever fucking seen. But, but, but my and opinion is, seen, you know. Created. It was what stupid. about TNT Championship? Yeah, uh, that's actually, it. Actually, that's second. 24-7 uh, well, champion? Mm, that's third. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, come on. Why you got to put in dumbass belts? You know, goddamn if you want to, you see, won't they do like 2002? Hey, we need we need a belt for all. Fucking bring in the World Heavyweight Championship. Because, Tommy, the universe is better than the world. Oh, fuck the universe. How do you like that? So, so it's the it. same. So, it's so which one belt, was Bobby. better? Old Bird or Little House on the Prairie Lesnar? I'm going to go with Goldberg. Well, I'm going to go ahead and chalk it up to Billy, Gold, Billy Oldberg here. You know why? Let me tell you why I'm going with Goldberg here. Short step. Well, that. And let me tell you another reason why I'm going with Goldberg. At least he would show up almost every week. As the champion. As the champion. No, that's the thing. He, at least, at least Goldberg would show up. Like, life well, alert or not. He should, <laughs> life alert or not. It's shirt off or not. And kids shirt off or not. But at least, at least he'll show the fuck up. Because... I, I don't give a damn. He, if he showed up, he, he fucking shit a shitty spear on Paul Heyman. At least he showed up. <laughs> and see, unlike uh, fucking Brock Lesnar, who wants to sit in his goddamn house in Bloomington, Minnesota, or where the fuck Minnesota he's from, fuck Minnesota. If fucking, if fucking, you know, can't get over the, the only motherfuckers that really good. The only motherfuckers that really good. Can you? Uh, fuck Minnesota in general. You gonna tell you the only thing? He just that, can't get over the team. Yeah, uh, fuck the Vikings too. You tell you we what, laid them out. Let me tell you what else is fucking bad in Minnesota. The only ones Corrupted that, all of them. The only one that's fucking good in Minnesota were the Road Warriors, Perfect and Rude. Okay. And and so, in my opinion, at least Goldberg showed up and Lesnar, unlike staying at fucking home watching Little House on the Prairie, 
and fucking reading fucking deer magazines. And reading deer magazines and fucking and fucking crotch rot and sable over here. And fucking and fucking milk a cow's tits. Pops, who's better? First of all, first of all, let's get this out of the way. Now I know you're tore up about it. It's been it's been it's been years, but he's still tore up about it that that we beat you guys and uh, demandled your team. Your coach had to go somewhere else. But that 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 was then. That was years now. ago. Let's move on. <laughs> See, you just don't like it. You still don't like it. Old news. <laughs> but you know me. You know having a, if I if I had a wrestling show, I'd, I'd want my champion to show up. One of the motherfuckers, you know, was only there there for a minute or two. So that's why I gotta go with Goldberg because at least he fucking showed up. Brock Lesnar was, was, was too busy fucking sable or doing something or milking the fucking cow or dicking the cow. Hell, I don't know. I might be dicking the cow. Who knows? Let's go with the. <clears throat> so you agree, Goldberg? Goldberg, yeah. Uh, let's go with the next question asked by Joe Lon. Joe Mogula. Maybe you could ask uh, Jose Matt Hardy's gardener to mow the lawn. George, where the fuck the goddamn shit he got damn up? I don't fucking know what his name is. Fuck him, too. Jorge. Jorge. Well, he got a lot. He, he, he got a lot more. Fucking. Who are the, whoever the fuck the gardener is for fucking, fucking gray-haired Matt Hardy? Uh, Tommy. This is actually towards you here. Okay. Since you're a Chicago Bears fan. Tommy, uh -huh. t Tommy are, you, are you a Chicago Bears fan? Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Why don't you like... Steve Mongo McMichael from WCW. He was a big Chicago Bears uh, player. Yeah, with them 76 black tights. Yeah, 76 black tights. So why don't you like Mongo? I like Mongo as a football player. As a wrestler, he was the shits. I can't believe that motherfucker was WCW US champion once. He was. Yeah. That's probably the worst US champion. I'm talking about WCW wise. I don't know. That covers a lot of ground. I'm talking about WCW wise. We're not still, going WWE wise. Still, still, that covers a lot of ground. Uh, I'm just saying, I think he's the worst. Um, uh, but I have to say, like, Mongo, like in football, great. He's good. And actually, he could cut a good promo. I got to give him that. Ma Steve Michael McMichael could cut a good promo. He, but once he gets in the ring, it's done. Let me tell you, baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I can understand why he's in the full horseman. He cut a great promo. And husband. Once he got in the ring, he was the shits. Yes. Pops, did you like Mongo? Uh, as a football player, I thought I, th I thought that thing was a football player. Uh, but you know, as 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 the thing goes, you know, you, you either they either put they either put football players on TV shows or, or put them in a in a fucking wrestling ring. Don't think he should have been a wrestler. Uh, I I really didn't see nothing there about him being a wrestler. The only damn thing he got was was being in a full horseman and actually. I really don't see why the four horsemen even needed him. Just me, I see what's the shittiest one out of the group. Yeah. And it's 76 tights. Yeah. Uh, Mongo was a guilty pleasure of mine. I always enjoyed uh, watching him always fuck up in the well, race. That's the only enjoyment I would get. <laughs> I, seriously. Every time I watch him, he, he always did something wrong. I don't know what it well, is. That's the only enjoyment I get. And, and go to Mongo's Twitter. <laughs> yeah, go to Mongo's Twitter. Well, I forgot the name of the goddamn Twitter there. Uh, I... Uh, I, I forgot the name of it too, but uh, hey, well, in my opinion, what, he watching watched him with, go fuck up. Like watching him in the ring, let, uh, let's just say if, if, if I was a wrestler, he's going again. Hurt me, motherfucker, and I'll kill you. But uh, yeah, Mongo wasn't that good. Let's just be honest here. Let's go with the next. Uh, the next two questions are asked by Gregory Shulet. All right. Yes. Got anything to say? Huh? Got anything to say? Ah, I like Greg. Uh, but me and him talk a lot, and, and me and him's got the same views of wrestling. And it's really, and it's really enjoyable to talk to him. He's really a sensible person, and I like him. Love you. Let's go with uh, Greg's first question here. Name a wrestler that you were sorry for who tried their hardest in the wrestling business, but never got there. I want uh, a wrestler that uh, that was good. Well, that you felt sorry for. That tried their hardest, but has never got it. Like never made it to the big time? I guess, yeah. 
Matt Capitelli. Matt Capitelli? Yeah. Not to what, uh, what, 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 why is that? Well, well he, I'm going to be honest, he was trying the best he could. Like, in OVW, he was doing really good, actually. He was a top guy in OVW. Yeah, yeah, yeah he, he, he actually learned, he actually was getting good in OVW. And he had the uh, brain problem. Yeah, uh, it actually happened on OVW television. Yeah. Uh, him and Johnny Jeter were a tag team, and uh, uh, they split up. Yeah. Where Johnny turned heel, and he hit Mac Capitelli in the head with a with a chair. Yeah. And it was a rough chair shot. Too. It, it was a rough chair shot that they actually had to go to the uh, to the ER. And, uh, he had to actually get stitches and stuff. And uh, if it wasn't for that chair shot, they would have never found out that he actually had a uh, brain tumor. Yeah, brain tumor. Yeah. And, uh, uh, and you know, right after that, you know, pretty much his his career uh, ended at that point. So, yeah, and, and he was a trainer. Uh, later on, he does become a trainer for OBW, uh, which was which was nice for him to do Cause, something. Because he still loved wrestling. Still loved wrestling, uh, and you know, uh, I think it was a couple of years ago he ended up passing away. Yeah. So. Uh, very unfortunate, but uh, yeah, a guy who had some of the tools and stuff, yeah. just, just never really got the opportunity. Yeah. Uh, Pops, is there somebody you felt sorry for that tried their hardest but uh, never really got there? Uh, the only person that I really can't think of, Matt Capitelli, really. Mm -hmm. because, because, I mean, he's the only one that, that, that really comes to mind right now. Mm -hmm. but, you know, uh, tragic. I, I, I thought he did great in OVW, just like you guys did say, and it was tragic, the, you know, what happened to him, tragic that he passed away. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt Cavatelli comes to mind, and and, and and of course, I mean, the, all these guys did do something in WWE, even though it wasn't really great, but... Uh, Everybody but Mitch for the Spirits. Yeah, I agree. That's also uh, some more people that Because Mike Mondo could have done something. Kenny could have done something. Fucking Johnny could have done something. Definitely Johnny Jeter. Uh, and, of course, finally Dolph Ziggler finally did something for once. Yeah. Uh, but but, but fucking, he's been he's, he's yeah. been pushing go yeah. uh, ever but since. But Mitch, yeah. he deserved every goddamn bitch he got. <laughs> and how the fuck did you get, Tori, you fucking rolling the dog schmuck? <laughs> <laughs> You cowboy Mitchie. Cowboy Mitchie. Now, yes, they did. They did make it to WWE. And yes, yes, they, they had, won the world yes, tag, they team won the tag, tag team titles. But I always felt sorry for them because because they could have done a hell of a lot better and not being that stupid cheerleader. Yeah, yeah they could have done a lot better. Uh, I, I think another one might Eugene might yeah come you, to, you, come Eugene might have, might have might have did something that, that had put him in a different way. If, if they let him come in on his own, I I think I think it would have made a hell of a lot of difference. But you know WWE. Vince McMahon, he's fucking cocksucking motherfuckers. He's a he's a what? He's a cocksucking motherfucker. <laughs> let's, <like> Trump. <laughs> let's go with the next. Yeah, let's go with the next. And question. final question for this edition of Five Questions, uh, asked by Gary Shulette. What the hell has happened to pro wrestling? And will we ever see it like it was twenty or twenty five years ago? Uh no, that's that's dead and buried. Yeah, uh, you're going to see what you see now. You're going to see a guy. Worse. You're going to, maybe even worse. You're going to see a guy with blue jeans, hand in his pockets, playing with his little dingaling, and fucking, and fucking, and fucking take a dive like he's supposed to impress somebody with hands in his pockets. I want to know. Up. How the fuck is that so good? And I want to know. And do because little chin kicks like he's goddamn somebody. When when all you are, you're a fucking orange tan schmuck. That's all you are. You, you fucking oh god. I, I hate stupid people. Like, I really do. And also this too, Tommy and Pops. I, I, I just want to know, why does everyone have to do a dive? Yeah, why, why does everyone yeah, have, have to, to do, do a Canadian, Canadian destroyer? fucking destroyer? Why, why does everyone got to do a goddamn super kick? Mm -hmm. It's why? like they went to wrestling school and just learned three moves. Uh, today we're going to love the super kick. Yeah, tomorrow here, here, we're here. Gonna... Today, you fucking outlaw mud show pricks. <laughs> We're going to learn how to fucking die. Because <laughs> that's all we That's know. all I know how to train you motherfucking asses on. And then the graduation. And then, then, then tomorrow, we're going to learn how 
to fucking super kick. And then when you graduate all honors, you're going to learn how to do a fucking Canadian destroyer. And then you're going to get your goddamn diploma that says the principal, the, uh, the you know, you know the, let's say the principal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It says Shaka Khan. No, no, no. The super kick now, the super kick now, I want you guys all up here to see that kid right there with super kicking. Yeah. You know, fucking, you see that's the thing, like, I swear, wrestling now is probably the worst thing. People want to say fucking 93 and 94 and 95 was bad. I'd rather take a dumpster guy right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd rather take give me a, the plumber. Yeah, I, I, give, give me, me the goddamn plumber. Give me the goddamn Abe Knuckleball Schwartz. <laughs> give me fucking Mantar. Give me fucking Bastion Booger. <laughs> give me goddamn. Give me the goddamn goon. Give me Skinner. Give me anything. Oh, give dude, me, give me, give me the gobbly gooper. Yeah. Give me any of the, I'll take all that shit right now over what the fuck the rest yeah. of the business is now. Yeah. Listen, wrestling's never going to go back to the way it was. It always progresses. It always moves forward, and I can understand that. Yeah. But can you put on a decent fucking show? Like, can, like, can you stop looking like a fucking oaf and fucking stop doing shit that don't, that has no business being in wrestling, with the tongue and cheek, see and fucking and fucking do shin kicks like someone's supposed to sell it, well, or fucking doing dick spots, or fucking do super kicks, you, or or fucking do goddamn pointing like they're somebody, you, and wearing ramen noodle hair. And we're not talking. We're not talking yeah. about the margin ramen noodles. We're talking about top ramen. Yeah. <laughs> the top ramen. You're talking about the cheapest of the cheap ramen. I am a wrestling fan. I've been a wrestling fan about my life. And I am totally embarrassed being a wrestling this fan. Goddamn thing. I'm, How it is going today? Yeah, I am totally I embarrassed. I hate when people come up to me and say, "Hey, uh, wrestling's like, the hottest it's ever been." For, for, for example, <laughs> let's say we go out. Sometimes this happens. You go out and they see your shirt. Oh, nice shirt. You're a wrestling fan. I hate to say I am. Uh-huh. I do. I hate to say I'm a wrestling fan. You, uh, yeah, I, well, you hear the people? Then you hear people on the internet. Oh, wrestling's the best it's ever yeah, been. Yeah. Yeah. What the I fuck you know, goddamn acne and, and neck beard fucks. You know what? I, I, and this right here has happened that to has me. That has like one it's, follower. This like hap happened to, to Tom. People will, will ask us. If we wear, wear the wrestling shirts, they will ask us. Are you a wrestling fan? Here's what I do. I hope so. Because I don't know whether I am or not anymore. The way wrestling is going right now, I don't know. Wrestling is a... I don't know, man. I'm just, I just don't want to watch it. <laughs> I really don't. Wow. I, I tell you what, you know, many years ago that, that I sat on the edge of my seat watching wrestling. And 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 I think about there are those days today. And what wrestling has become right now, it makes me think all these guys, all these wrestlers that, that went before these motherfuckers here made something real for them. And these motherfuckers right here today fucked it all up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like these motherfuckers be in the fucking business. Give me a break. They'd be sweeping up the goddamn shit like on uh, Unreal Story Pro Wrestling. Sweeping <laughs> up the goddamn NWO papers. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Oh, shit, yeah. Well, it's true. I'm being honest. Yeah. Uh, wrestling is, is... And see, this is the thing, too, is... is it was even the shits before COVID. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Pe people can't blame yeah, people, uh, oh, man, the because, virus on this. It's because no. of the uh, pandemic. No, you, well, fuck, wrestling was in the shit before this. You can't, you, you, you can't blame this on the virus. I'm if sorry, can, you just can't I, do it. Just wait till and, and people say, "Oh, NXT sucks." Dude, where's thing? At least NXT tries to put on a decent wrestling show. Try, try, and at least try. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I'm just, it's just I, horrible. I, I'm just so tired of, and sick, of, sick. Watching, it, of watching any current wrestling. That, I'm that, sick that, and that tired of goddamn ridiculous. people saying, oh man, 2020 is the best time to be a wrestling yeah. fan. Yeah, I'm a, I'm, go, I'll go under a rock yeah. and wait until and see, and see and come back 30 years later. Oh, you're still doing that dumb shit? Well, back under the Patrick Star rocket. I, I will <laughs> say this right here, and and you know, I like, I like going back to watch the old tapes. 
of wrestling because those, those those are the only wrestling that I really care in, that I cared anything about. This right here kind of wrestling that they're having now, I would walk walk, walk out my front door and see it. If I got free tickets to go to a wrestling show, I wouldn't go. I wouldn't even go. And see, and, and, and the people that go, when they watch you, they laugh and giggle. <laughs> Like, no, they do. When they see dumb shit, they laugh and they giggle. And their young bucks t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, and their young bucks t-shirt or three disheartening letters AFW. Or <laughs> fucking wear neck beard. Did, uh, uh, shit did, like did, this. Did Greg? Did Greg write that? Greg it? Yes, he did. Yeah. Well, you know, you know, you tell me, you know, that, that, that you go back and you watch the old stuff. Well, let us know in the comments yeah. section down below. Yeah. Do you guys even watch wrestling yeah. anymore? Be honest, do you uh, we don't. don't. We yeah, don't. I'll be honest. This year, I'm going to be totally honest. Worst year in wrestling. It is. I'll take fucking '94, '95 in a heartbeat. Give me Duke the Dumpster. Yeah, give me Duke the and Dumpster. Being with give the me, yeah. Give me Thurman Plug. <laughs> Thurman Plug, Sparky Plug. Yeah. And, but, Give me and, all that shit. I, I watched those stuff, and, and Greg told me, yes, I go back and watch it because, because to me, you know, he, he says it just ain't like it was. Just like he said, do you think Brad Rashford will, will be, will, 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 it, uh, will, it's better than, 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 than it, you know, was, but, but do you think it'll ever come back? No, it won't. Mm -hmm. It's dead. It is dead. And it's going to remain dead. And it's going to remain dead until, you know, something happens, which I don't think it's going to. But guys, that's the end of this edition of Five Questions with WR. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash WrestlingRampage2. Follow us on Twitter at WrestleRampage. You can follow me and Tommy on Instagram. You can have Pops on Facebook if you guys would like to. Uh, because uh, uh, Pops is always on there talking about... Uh, <laughs> Talk, talking about uh, DT. Talking about a, a DT that has a smorgasbord of uh, dollars <laughs> big, big and in, other like words, in, a, in other words, I'm talking about a pile of shit. <laughs> no doubt. And guys, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we are that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better. Oh, yeah.